Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we had finished up in the police station and headed back out into the northern Detroit streets. So that's what we're doing now. This is new territory, so let's talk to these people. I... I've been out on the streets a long time. I've seen a lot of bad shit out here. Something nasty is going down, man. The duck has got his head. The nose. Something nasty is going down, man. That sir actually thinks augmentation is going to help mankind. The there are people in this Nobody city fellow man can't afford to luck. You ask me? Seraph Industries should be trying to help it so I can eat? in ways that really make a difference. You ask me? Alright, there's nothing Industries here behind them, so let's keep moving. Trash can. Let's head up here. Why would you book me a trick inside D Row? What if some shit goes down? How am I even gonna get out of there? Don't worry, baby. I'll come to get you. You crazy? They ain't just gonna let you go through the front door? There's a way in on the fourth floor of the building next door. Or if you can get away, meet me in the sewers. What you say? I ain't crawling through no sewers on account of your bullshit. What's the deal, baby? Me, son? I'd much rather get with you than go in D-Row. I'd much rather get with you than go in D-Row. 2027 and we're still arguing about the damn environment. When I was a kid, it was the big news. Global warming, rising ocean. Hey, it was already too a, late back then. Time, no Does Hugh Darrow really believe his Panchea project is gonna reverse all the damage we've done to the planet? He may be a genius, but this time he's wrong. Does Hugh Darrow really believe his Panchea project is gonna reverse all How the How about a little sugar, baby? I'll give you a Motown special. Come on, don't be shy. I bet you're a real tiger under that coat. Come on, don't be shy. Mm -hmm. I bet you're a real tiger. <laughs> you under promise that coat. not to be too rough, and maybe I'll give you a freebie, sugar. Remember me? Better make sure your battery is fully charged, though, because I can go all, all night. I'll Better make sure your battery. Oh, that's Jenny Alexander. I'm gonna talk to her in a second. There's a hot devil beer. Let's I never let T-Boss be booking me with no cogs. I find them nasty. I think they're kind of cool. Yeah, to me, it's a welcome change to the dirty old men I usually get stuck with. All the ones hopped up on Z. Yeah, at least that no-pose drug the Augs take don't make them all uppity and shit. Cog lovers, huh? <laughs> to each their own, I guess. <laughs> nah, I don't do no tricks with no Augs. Come yo. on, I can Talk make to you these two. so good. They might be able to help you out. Talk to these two. They might be able to help you out. <laughs> hey, sweetie, damn you cute. You gonna show us what's under that coat or what? You gonna show us what's under that coat or what? You wanna hey, have some fun tonight, boy. sexy? Cause I haven't had a cutie like you in a long time. Right. Next time, sugar. Right. Next time, sugar. All right, let's talk to Jenny before we do anything else. Hey, Jensen. Long time no see. Jensen. My God, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Let's go with flirty. Why not? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I like your new style. A bit revealing for my taste, but not entirely unappealing. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up, big boy. 
I'm undercover, keeping tabs on derelict rowballers. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? About. O'Malley. How about the target, O'Malley? Got any more info? He's a cop, but he went on assignment with the feds for a while. No reports, no address, nothing. We're pretty sure he got tied up in major covert ops, but never got anything solid on him. He has a badge, but he doesn't feel like a cop at all. Gangs? I haven't walked the beat in a while. Could you give me a quick sit rep of the local gangs? <sighs> you know, gangs are not the finest example of evolution, if you catch my drift. Everything's pretty much the same. The derelict row ballers are still dealing and stealing, getting into fights with Augs, and defacing augmented people's property. Yeah, right. Upstanding citizens. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the Motor City Bangers. Ignorant scumbags just like the DRBs, only some of them are augmented scumbags. Return. We'll accept, of course. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger-painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Apprehensive. Okay. But we have to be careful how we handle this. It could discredit your investigation. True, but thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me, I usually play by the book. Only this time, the bad guy's a friend of the publisher. Hitman. What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone, a drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Apartment. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. And shipment. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. 
You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Alright, so let's look at our new objectives. The quest is called S5, Cloak and Daggers. Primary objectives. Go to Derelict Row. Detective Jenny Alexander believes that a crooked cop has been supplying weapons to a local gang. If I can find a shipment of weapons inside Derelict Row, she'll be able to prove who supplied it and start building a case. I've agreed to at least look for the weapons, which means I need to get inside Derelict Row, the DRB gang's turf. Locate O'Malley's apartment. Jenny's asked me to find evidence that will convict Jack O'Malley of being a crooked cop. O'Malley's apartment is on the second floor of a building near Brooklyn Court. I can probably look for evidence inside it. And meet with O'Malley. Internal Affairs knows Detective Jack O'Malley is crooked, but until recently they haven't been able to prove it. Through a confidential informant, they've learned he plans to hire a hitman for a job. Jenny's asked me to pretend to be the hitman and meet with O'Malley in an alley next to the police station. I've agreed to do it. Secondary objectives. Remain undetected while in DRB territory. The case against O'Malley will be a lot easier for Jenny to handle if I remain undetected while inside Derelict Row. So, we can go ahead and take care of a few pieces of this. The first thing I'm going to do is run to the alley behind the police station and meet with O'Malley. simple. And O'Malley has appeared right here. Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? Confident. Or, let's say, cold. I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101. Well, you certainly look the part. Now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No. Eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. Let's go about. You don't sound like a cop. You, on the other hand, are starting to sound exactly like one. I strongly suggest you simply get on with the program. Employer. I don't understand what you're getting out of this. It sounds to me like you're just the middleman for someone else. You think too much, my friend. This could prove to be a source of great personal discomfort for you in the near future. Gangmore. So what's the plan? You make a call and rat one of the bangers out? Then the DRBs retaliate, and so on and so forth, until they wipe themselves out? Pretty much. What about innocent casualties? These thugs aren't exactly expert marksmen, and it's pretty hard to aim from the window of a moving car. What could be worth such a risk? I won't discuss my motives with you. I hired you to do a job. Just do it. Details. I can get inside Derelict Row. 
But where can I find their weapon stash? Look for an old concrete structure that is boarded up and condemned. I believe they stock their supplies right underneath it. Target. I need a more precise location on the target. There's a small back alley known to the locals as Earl's Court. You can access Double T's building using the fire escape. He's in one of the apartments on the fourth floor. Package. So what is it I'm picking up and where is it exactly? There's a rather luxurious apartment complex on Grand River Road. In front of it, on the other side of the street, you'll see a door that leads to a maintenance corridor. In the first corner of that corridor, you will find a crossbow hidden amongst the trash and debris. Use it to kill Double T. Convi oh, let's try convincing him. Alphas can be appeased. You obviously want this done quick and done well. I respect that. All I'm asking for is half the payment in advance as a gesture of goodwill. In my line of work, you simply can't afford to be careless. You've got guts, I'll give you that. You've got yourself a deal. Added a thousand credits. Booyah. Okay, so I think I'm sure that changed our objectives. Um, locate the MCB gang's hideout. Jenny needs the murder witness alive and talking. I have to find him, and according to O'Malley, he's laying low in an MCB hideout near Earl's Court, more specifically in a fourth floor apartment inside the building. Retrieve O'Malley's package. The murder weapon O'Malley wants me to pick up is laying around trash and debris in the maintenance corridor in front of the Chiron building. I've got to get it and bring it back to Jenny. Okay, that's all pretty straightforward. We got 100 experience for meeting with O'Malley. Now I think we are free. To head back to the apartments in the center alleyway zone and take care of our objectives there. So I'm just going to try to close the loop and take this street as far as I can. Just talking to the people along the way, of course. Come on. Let's just take a left through here. I'll hit this trash can. You an ex-banger? You got the look. Maybe you know the big ant. He's been busting DRB heads for years. I wouldn't get on his bad side, though. He's not too picky about which heads get busted. I wouldn't get on his bad side, though. He's look not too you, picky man. about which heads get Another busted. Another sucker who bought a bunch of crap you never really needed. You're gonna be obsolete someday, my brother. You're gonna be obsolete someday, my brother. Ah, great. I can tell by the dent in your forehead that you're an enhancer. Looks like rain, Cutter. You better get inside before you're rushed. Looks like rain, Cutter. You better get inside before you're rushed. All right. Here, we got a pocket secretary. Merchandise from Bilbo Bagum at yazura.det.usa to dirtbag450 at gaggle.det.usa. Sup, dirtbag? Listen, the shit's stacked in the usual storage locker, just like you asked. I changed the code to 2928. Any idea when your guy can pick the stuff up? Bilbo. Oh, good. You might remember last time I couldn't get a couldn't look at any of these emails for some reason. Problem fixed itself. You look like a guy that gets around. Little advice, stay out of the sewers. A lot of shit going down in there lately. Bangers and ballers have been fighting for territory even under the city. And I've seen some other guys almost sound like a cult. They really hate you, Augs. Bangers and ballers have been fighting for territory even under the city. And I've seen some other guys almost sound like a cult. They really hate you, Augs. Let's get this guy. Whatever happens, my man, don't let them scare you. Don't let them beat you down. Once everyone's scared, they'll set up a global police force, my man. New world order. Just you watch. Once everyone's scared, they'll set up... One other guy down here. People been saying Augs equal progress. Look at me. I've been progress right out into the street. 
Man, this city went to shit when the oil industry tanked. Cars falls right behind. Man, this city went to shit when the oil industry tanked. Cars falls right behind. All right. Let's head through here, and we will find ourselves back on the basketball court. Of course, now there's there are more things we can do here. First, head through the security gate into the Brooklyn Court building. If I remember correctly, O'Malley is on the second floor. We've already been in there, done some hacking and whatnot, but... Now we can get a little more experience taking care of some side quest objectives. Yes, here he is. Find at least one piece of incriminating evidence. Getting here was worth 300 experience. <laughs> to help Jenny win her case, I need to look around O'Malley's apartment and find something that will prove he's crooked. One piece of evidence will do the trick. More will be even better. Pretty straightforward. Not hard to do, either. All the good stuff's in here, but... Weapon shipment counts. That's 300. Package of drugs. That counts as evidence. Illegal drugs. A package of illegal drugs found in O'Malley's apartment. Jenny Alexander may be able to use this to help her case against the crooked cop. Yeah, I didn't think the crossbow arrows counted. But it pays to be certain, I suppose. I thought there was more than that. Ah, here we go. Th yes, there's a new email on his computer now. From DETWKS0112 at FEMA.GUV to Jack O'Malley at GovNet.Secure.Net. Encroachment. Hello, Jack. As you know, the situation with the gangs has become somewhat of an issue for us here. Just like rats, these scum are slowly burrowing their way closer and closer to our Highland Park facility. I've been told you were the man who's been assigned to resolve this situation. I'm sure you understand the importance and delicacy of what we've built here and why it needs to be protected. That's why, as uncomfortable as it is, I have to ask you to act quickly. They are getting dangerously close, and this could be a major setback for us. You know how this organization feels in regard to public exposure and failure, Ollie. Is there anything else? Or is that all? I feel like it tells me when I find them all, but... Maybe that is it. Hard to say. Unless there is something out in the main apartment, too. I guess I should check. We got weapons, we got drugs, we got a weird email. That ought to be enough. <clears throat> Actually, one piece of evidence is enough, but more is better, and the dialogue changes if you find all of it. So, I'd like to be sure that I have found all of it, that's all. I think I have. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, I'm satisfied. Let's get out of here. We'll be... We actually... We're still not done there. We'll be back in there eventually, but... For now, we're all good.
So let's get out of here. Let's head to the other building. Earl's Court, I think he called it. It's the building where Surat, li Surat the merchant is. I love hearing the guy whistle the first game's theme song. It just makes me happy. Well, let's head up to the top. Well, not to the top, but to the third floor. I believe that the MCBs have now spawned in here. Should be, yeah, two I knocked out earlier. Okay, 100 experience for coming here, locating the MCB gang's hideout. We have now Knockout Double T. Jenny needs her witness Double T alive and talking. She told me she'll send some cops by after I knock him out cold to bring him in. That means I have to make sure he stays alive. Neutralize all MCB opposition. As I suspected, the MCB gang doesn't like strangers infiltrating their turf. Guess that means single-handedly putting a stop to any and all opposition. I have to make sure I take care of all of them so Jenny's guys can take Double T, the murder witness, into protective custody. That's pretty straightforward. There are f So there are a total of four guys now. So obviously my goal... Don't come no closer, Slick. Back off is to successfully perform two double takedowns. That's it, man. Last chance. Run, you bastard! Fuck. Better stay on in case he comes back. I need to get the one off the couch. That's my main issue. Oh, there's a pistol right there. Keep out of this, Hansa. Get lost. <laughs> Run, you bastard! Keep out of this. There we go. That was pretty straightforward. One double takedown accomplished. Oh, look, he's got two things of pistol ammo. Perfect. Let me fill my gun back up and then drop the spare. What about the other one? Seven credits. Wahoo. Son of a bitch! We need help! This is the spot, man! Keep looking! Someone's playing! Oh, not enough energy. Why they aren't turning hostile, I don't know. What the hell is going on? I see you. Yeah, I forgot about energy. Oops. That was stupid. This time, I'll let my energy cell recharge before I go after the guys in the bedroom. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready. Who are you? All right, I got the double takedown. And we completed the objectives to neutralize all MCB opposition and to knock out Double T. So this one's got 124 credits. Double T's got 171 credits. And we're done. So we can get out of here. That was easy enough. Again, at this point, there's still no ghost bonus to risk, so don't need to worry about uh, the fact that they saw me.
All right, that's all the that's all the backtracking we can do for now. So let's head out of here for good. And finally, go do a little bit of new exploring. So I will head back through here. And now we'll go up Grand River Road. Since we haven't done that yet. Check this alleyway first. Look at you, all ogged up. Can you fly with all that stuff? Human evolution took a wrong turn somewhere. Human evolution took a wrong turn somewhere. Hey, scientists are God, men. They make a mistake, it's a human being that pays. There's just some things that men shouldn't mess around with. There's just some things that men shouldn't mess around with. Alright, nothing back here. That's that's an entrance into Derelict Row. So we'll deal with that later. I feel like these two are supposed to be having a conversation and it's not playing. What's all the fuss about this augmentation technology? It's my business what I do with my body. No one else's. It's my business what I do with my body. No one else's. You like baseball? That loose son Park is a monster. The agrotherapy they put him on saved his career. Looks like the Tigers are going deep. Looks like the Tigers are going deep. We've talked to those punks already. Let's talk to these two. That maintenance tunnel is another entrance to Derelict Row, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. You got any credits to spare? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna use them to buy booze. You wouldn't begrudge a man a drink, would you? You wouldn't begrudge a man a drink, would you? Oh, man. That's some getup you got. What you trying to hide? You're an all ain't you? Yeah. Well, you just stay out of D Row, my man. You'll be fine. You're an all ain't you? Well, you just stay out of D Row. Mm. Hey, 100 XP. Looks like we got a drug shipment back here. That's fun. That's handy. I just realized I've several times now skipped over a storage garage back here. Oh, I'm gonna want to take care of that. Let's hack it open. What do we have? Data store up there, which is pretty cleanly on the way to the exit. Access granted. 100 credits and 50 experience for the hack. Now the garage opens. Run in here. Get another 100 experience. We got stun gun darts and a stun gun. Awesome. Now with that done, Streets are all clear except for Derelict Row. Let's do Adam's apartment building, the Chiron building. Because our next main quest also ties into Derelict Row. We might as well do them at the same time. Let's talk to the people in here first. What you got in that head of yours? An intelligence chip? You gonna steal some poor natural's job? My father lost his factory job to a robot back in 2012. But at least that thing couldn't think for itself. My father lost his factory job to a robot back in People see conspiracies everywhere. They're saying that Lim's personal catalogs mean some people get preferential treatment. Police. Lim are the good guys. They believe in equality, unlike everybody else. Lim are the good guys. They believe in equality, 
unlike everybody else. We've seen that newspaper already. Man, this town is dead. I should have just moved to Philadelphia. They keep saying the nightlife will get better, but how many times have we heard that before? They keep saying the nightlife will get better, but how many times have we heard that? No offense, but uh, if it were up to me, this place would have a no-og policy. But that ain't never gonna happen. Not with people like David Sarif throwing their weight around. But that ain't never gonna happen. Not with people like David Sarif throwing their weight around. These riots are David Sarif's fault. How can you say that? He has this air of arrogance about him. This so far, Mr. Darrow has refused People don't repeated... like arrogance. David Sarif has almost single-handedly kept the city afloat for the past 15 years. A lot of people have jobs because of him. Doesn't mean he has the right to look down on us. In fact, most people who support augmentation technology have that sense of entitlement about them. Like, because they have money and can enhance themselves, they can do whatever they want. Put it in perspective, Sharon. If the people you're talking about have jobs, chances are they have David Seraph to thank for it. You work for Seraph Industries, don't you? I think it's terrible, all these attacks against your offices. Please tell your colleagues that not everyone in this city thinks they shouldn't be here. Please tell your colleagues that not everyone in this city thinks they shouldn't be here. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. Especially since I just know this humidity is ruining my hair. Whatever. Whatever. Computers unlocked. From Rob Davis at DesertGlass.det.usa to Sherry Horst at ChironBuilding.net. Mirror, last call. Hi. The mirror you ordered for the penthouse bathroom arrived in our warehouse almost four weeks ago. This is your last reminder. If you don't pick it up right away, we'll have to ship it back. Thanks. From A. Margulies at si.corp.det to Sherry Horst at chironbuilding.net. <laughs> Reply, apartments. Every building has tenants it can afford to lose and others it cannot. I trust you know what is best and will act accordingly. Please let me know your final decision. Thank you. Athena Margulies, Seraph Industries. You wrote, Ms. Margulies, in response to your recent inquiry about renting rooms to more Seraph employees, I regret that this will not be possible because we have no more rooms available. All of our apartments are currently leased. Sherry Terhorst. From A. Westland at gaggle.por.usa to Sherry Horst at chironbuilding.net. Reply, about your daughter. Ms. Terhorst, thank you for your time. I will be in Detroit in two days to discuss this further. Alan Westland. You wrote, Mr. Westland, I'm sorry, but I cannot be of any more help since I do not know the circumstances under which she left. All any of us here know is what you have already been told. With her rent over a week late and no answer on the telephone nor reply to mails for several days, our custodian entered the room with a pass key. Standard procedure as outlined in the lease you signed. The room was discovered to be completely empty, with no furniture and no wall hangings. Even the garbage had been removed. Again, as per the lease, we assumed the room had been vacated without notice and re-rented it. We have received no communication from your daughter since her last rent payment. Sincerely sorry, Ms. Sherry Terhorst. Okay, let's talk to her while she's on the phone, but... There is no way. Believe me, I've tried. It must have been pretty bad, right? Bye-bye. Before you ask, no. Your mirror has not been replaced, Mr. Jensen. Today I've had to deal with petty vandalism, unreasonable demands from corporate clients, and a variety of other pressing problems. So facilitating your grooming had to be given a lower priority. Today I've had to deal with petty vandalism. Of course, we know she's got some personal beef against us since her email says the mirror is there and she just won't help us. Anyway, let's talk to Cassandra Reed and finish the quest, but there's an achievement to be had here, so make sure you save before you talk to her. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. Complete quest. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Witness. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. 
I think someone got to him first. Medical examiner. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. Mercs. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. Identification. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. Let's keep the bracelet first. That gets us an achievement. Then I'm going to reload and give it to her. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? Achievement unlocked. Sentimental value. That's 12 out of 49, 24%. You kept Megan's bracelet for yourself. Apparently letting go really is the hardest part. Empathetic. I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Optimistic. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when. But I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone. And I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me. She will. Okay. Oh, and that completes, that gives another achievement, motherly ties. 13 out of 49, 26%. Put a grieving mother's doubts to rest. Fair enough. And that's worth a thousand experience, but I actually want to give her Megan's bracelet. I just had to keep it once to get the achievement, so don't worry, I'll speed through the dialogue. Have you found it? I've invented so the you I don't I got my I don't so no give bracelet I'm sorry Cassandra I wish I had more tangible answers to give you but I did stumble on something I think you should have I found Megan's bracelet I'm sure she'd want you to have it oh Adam that's very kind of you her grandmother gave it to her she loved that bracelet very much thank you for all you did and, um, I read the thing. I knew it's strange. There we go. Thousand experience. Thank you, Adam. I just need a few minutes to collect my thoughts. Then I'll be going. I just need a few minutes to collect my thoughts. Okay. Let's head upstairs. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Up to the penthouse. Jensen's apartment is pretty cool. I wish I had an apartment like Jensen's.
Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. There's lots of room behind the big screen. I put the stuff in there that you asked me to. And thanks for that little something extra you left. The wife will be happy. There's lots of room behind the big screen. I put there is no way. Believe me, I've tried. Need to talk to this gal as soon as she gets off the phone. Well, maybe next week. We'll see. Okay, goodbye. I heard they want to give David Seraph the key to the city. Something about the city's rebirth. Some savior sitting up there in his ivory tower while half the city is starving. Some savior sitting okay, let's up head down there here. in his ivory tower. Out of order elevator. Starving. I could have sworn there was something to listen to. Oh well. Here's Jensen's apartment. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. We've got a hack in here, believe it or not. So let's do it. It's very straightforward. In fact, oh, we can capture the red. Perfect. That's always the easiest thing. Access granted. 100 XP in the data store, plus 25 for the hack. And now we can open the secret stash. Behind Jensen's television. Let's check out his kitchen first. Magic gnome, suspiciously delicious. Crunchy pirate. Sunbran. He's got combat rifles hidden around his apartment. I guess he's kind of paranoid. Hello, Adam. 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcast. Same newspaper we've seen all over Detroit. Nothing under those crates, which is fine. <clears throat> but let's do... <clears throat> check out the secret stash. And make sure we lift everything anyway. Child and Violence, Sports Encyclopedia, Feeding the Fires of Babylon, a novel. That looks like pictures of Megan and their dog and Adam's old SWAT unit. Narcotics, Laws of Detroit, Chaos Theory Unraveled, Under Heavy Fire, Using Force for Peace, Orpheus Slain, Desk Rooster, Resolving Conflicts, Human Traffic, Man in armor, guns blazing, hairy something, self-gratification, the planet of cakes, vernix, the many levels of hate, forging the bonds, sick management tactics, fatal feet, looks like, la colonna spezzata, tactical manual volume one, Alumnica. Anyway, over on the desk, we got an ebook and another combat rifle. On the couch, we've got a hat. It says DX on it, which I like. Advanced clock building. Ingenious mechanical devices. The automata of Al Jazari. Al Jazari's so called ele elephant clock, conceived in 1206, was not only the first iteration of a water-powered timepiece capable of accurately registering the hours of the day in their irregular lengths, but also first to utilize the aesthetic device of clockwork automata, a chirping bird and human striking a cymbal. The length of the clock's hourly intervals could be programmed by the adjustment of a flow regulator mechanism. Al Jazari's later designs, building on his works with hydro-powered automata and detailed in his writings appearing in his Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices, would include the castle clock. This mechanism is widely regarded by many scholars as, human, as history's first programmable mechanical NEE -E analog computer system. And in addition to showing the passage of time, it also featured a display of the celestial zodiac and the orbits of the sun and the moon. Well, that's cool. Over here, Jensen apparently has an interest in clock building or electronics or something. On the desk, we see... Yeah, he's been playing with stuff. More and more book stacks. Here's the stash. 100 XP exploration bonus for getting here. 
Got plenty of drugs, must be painkillers. A remote detonated explosive device, pistol ammo, 250 credits, a pistol, an automatic unlocking device, more pistol ammo, and special upgrade, pistol armor piercing system. Let's check that out. Quantum Tunneling Armor Piercing Q-Tap System. Use. Negates all armor bonuses, including those from dermal plating. 4 10mm pistol. Description. The Quantum Tunneling Armor Piercing System ionizes a weapon's projectiles, allowing them to penetrate most armor types before reverting and causing massive damage. The effect is limited and will not allow penetration through walls and such. Manufacturer c -Tech. Yes, let's put it on my pistol. Of course. So now it's got all three of its special upgrades. Needs three rate of fire, three reload speed, two damage output, and two ammo capacity before it will be fully upgraded. But we can stand to wait for that. So, let's head into the bedroom. Check things out in here. We've got an ebook on the nightstand. Hugh Darrow ebook, 200 experience. The Intelligence Circuit, excerpted from a talk given by Hugh Darrow at the 2020 Human Plus Conference in San Jose. We get carried away with the idea of bolting robot arms and legs to our fleshy torsos, but I firmly believe that the real core of what we can innovate lies within our meat, more specifically in our brains. Deep brain implants are the way in which the human machine can truly be supercharged. Consider our gray matter. Our neural DNA has been imprinted with a mammoth amount of information, allowing us to parallel process huge and complex data sets in quick order. But for all that, our wet memory is patchy and sporadic. We lack the ability to communicate data in complete fashion. Through the use of cognitive enhancement implants providing nootropic stimuli, we are capable of creating a new level of neural synchrony that can effectively boost brain capacity, and via wireless data parsing subsystems, a form of radio telepathy is a real and viable concept. Faster brains processing more data, reacting quicker, capable of streaming that data in real time to other similarly accelerated post-humans. This is the real frontier. Augment Chew, fruit flavored cereal. Now with more iron. Get well cards. With hope. Life is hard. Dark clouds never stay. I do like the bathroom. Call landlord regarding replacement mirror again. Apparently, Jensen is having some struggles with augmentation. He obviously doesn't like the way he looks. So, there's a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, which we'll take with us. Well, I don't actually want to carry it around, but... There's another combat rifle sitting here. Finally, there's not really anything left to do except... get on the computer, which is unlocked to start with. That must be Adam and Megan right there. SWAT unit. Megan and Kubrick. Half a sandwich, uneaten. Living with your new cybernetic prosthetic, all you need to know about treatments, recovery, and functionality. Anyway, doesn't look like I can get into his drawers, so let's just get on. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Let's read the emails. From Sherry Horst at ChironBuilding.net to Adam Jensen at si.det.usa. Mirror. Mr. Jensen, 
In respect to your latest reminder to have the mirror in your bathroom replaced, may I remind you once again that the item is on back order, the situation is out of our hands, and no amount of pestering will make it arrive any sooner. And while on the subject, we are still unclear as to how precisely this mirror came to be damaged. Perhaps you can enlighten us. Thank you, Sherry Terhorst. From dgonzalez at si.corp.det to Adam Jensen at si.det.usa regarding your dog. Adam, I'm so, so sorry. When Megan died, nobody knew what to do with Kubrick, so I took him in. But I couldn't keep him, and nobody knew if you'd wake up, so didn't know what else to do. I'm really sorry. He was a sweet dog. Diane. From A. Margulies at si.corp.det to Adam Jensen at si.det.usa. Welcome home. Hello, Adam. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> This just a quick note to welcome you to your new apartment on behalf of Seraph Industries. If you need anything or something is not satisfactory, please do not hesitate to let me know and I will pass it on to the building management. You will notice there is a hidey hole of sorts built into the wall. The code for this is 5375. If your key is lost or damaged, I have a backup. Mr. Seraph does also, but try to reach me first. The lease is for a year and has been prepaid in full. You shouldn't receive any questions about rent, but if you do, please feel free to refer them to me. I wish you many happy years in your new home. Athena Margulies, Seraph Industries. So that was, um, supposed to be worth a thousand experience, but, okay, it hasn't ticked it off yet. There we go. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory. Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. There we go. We have one Praxis. I need two for the next upgrade I want, but we do have a new main mission. M7, stopping the transmission. Primary objectives. Locate and shut down antenna in derelict row. Looks like Seraph's network security is being threatened by a transmission coming from derelict row, gang territory. They aren't going to like me invading their turf, but I have to find the antenna that's broadcasting that transmission and hack it to shut off the signal. But if I remember right... <clears throat> we're gonna get something new on our way out. Re-establishing security system. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. Must be on a different visit. You can get that conversation to play. Anyway. We're done here. Time to leave. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Pritchard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. Meet the mysterious informant. S6, Voices from the Dark. Meet the mysterious informant. Pritchard found a cryptic note stapled to my office door. An unnamed informant wants to meet with me in an alley off Bagley Avenue. That's pretty close to the Seraph Industries Plaza. If I get a chance, I should check it out. Indeed, we're gonna do that now. Yes, it's time to go all the way back. Now 
Now one thing that's worth noting here is there is a ghost bonus tied to uh, shutting down the transmission, so I need to start being careful about stealth and being detected again. Let's just head over here for now. There's the Seraph building, of course. We need to head to this alley over here. Bodyguard. You're the one to save the hostages. Listen, I ain't no killer. It was never supposed to go that far. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad you was able to stop that. No matter what Zeke thinks. But I'll tell you something else, man. What your company's doing is even worse, man. It's, it's holding everyone on the planet hostage. But I'll tell you something else, man. What your Back away, Hansa. It's even worse. Man. Maybe I didn't see you at it's the plant, but I can see you now. Hostage. You're a really sneaky fuck, ain't you? Well, if Zeke weren't here to stop me, I'd rip off your legs. I'd like to see how sneaky you'd be then. You're a really sneaky fucking. It's Zeke Sanders. Well, Zeke since we let him go, I see you got my message, Cabrón. I'd like to see how sneaky you'd be then. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah. So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on that gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. So that's worth 750 experience, completionist. Get lost, perro. You got shit to do. I paid my debt. We're even now. I see you again. Things are gonna get ugly. I see you again. Things are gonna get ugly. Now, important. These three guys do give full combat experience. And there being three of them, I feel compelled to arrange at least one double takedown. So let's see what I can do to make that happen. Not good enough. I really don't like wasting ammo. So... This ain't doing it. Gunfire usually works, or at minimum drawing a weapon works, but not this time. Jesus! What happened? Yeah, I can't have that. I have an idea, but I'm worried about these guys disappearing. Where are the boxes I used? Oh, they're over at the bus stop. That's right, that's right. And do some good old-fashioned line-of-sight blocking if I can. I figure I need to drop one of them. Yeah, good. They, they don't leave. And just, I need to, I just need to pull it off without alerting the other two. And then I can use his body to get them to move. That's my plan. So, 
This should work, I think. I need it a little farther out than that. There we go. Well, even then. Okay. Yeah, I still don't think that's enough. Well, I don't really think that is either. It might let me stay hidden just long enough. We'll see. Let's get the other one. The real kicker is, since the, uh, I'm not sure if these unrelated AIs will bust a ghost bonus or not, but they very well might, since there is a ghost bonus tied to my current main objective. So I need to pull this off without letting any of them turn hostile. That's, that's the part that's going to be real trouble. Anyway, let's just... Drop this right on top of the other one. Let's see if this will cut it. Well, they're certainly going to see the body. Jesus! What happened to you? You blew it! You're going to look. <clears throat> well, I think this will work, but I need the body to fall in a. better position. Jensen seems very intent on punching him out into their field of view. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And not only that, but he also seems to want to move out from cover and... Someone over there? Who's there? Jensen. Maybe I should come from the other way. See if it teleports me somewhere helpful. That sometimes happens. Uh, 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 uh. Jesus! What happened to you? Okay. Jesus, what happened to you? You blew it. Oh, come on. He's got machine pistol ammo. Which I guess is sort of neat. What the hell is going on here? They're gonna spot me. I got you. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I need to manage it without alerting them. At least before I'm ready. There's gotta be a way. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. That time they didn't see the takedown. So I can wait for Jensen's energy to recharge and then... <clears throat> well then, well, we'll see.
One note, even if you're not playing pacifist, I do not recommend killing Zeke Sanders here because he'll show up again later if you leave him alive. Jesus! What happened to you? I just realized something important, though. Even if that idea works, uh, letting enemies see a body busts a ghost bonus. So, what do we do? There's gotta be a way to do this. There's gotta be. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. I just gotta, just gotta figure it out. Well, that's not gonna cut it. Seriously, Jensen. I wish there were a way I could control the direction of the takedown, because... Jesus! What happened to you? I've seen this enough times to know it's not going to work. I'm going to do a perma save here so I can do some experimenting. Since I haven't actually done that yet. Now then. Jesus, what happened to you? Try backing up a little farther. What the hell is going on here? Yep, not gonna cut it. Maybe if I dragged him even farther, it would have worked. Who knows? Someone over there? You dead, man! What I'd really like is for Jensen to just. Mm. Punch him without getting spotted. Like the first time. Like that one... I shouldn't say first. Like, that one time was so nice. Someone over there? You dead, man! Unbelievable! There's obviously an animation that can play that won't Jeez. screw this up for me. Let's try going even farther. Let's see if we can get all the way around the corner. Okay. So far, so good. Get close to each other. If my takedown recharges fast enough, we should be good. Uh, 
I just need them to get close to each other again. I doubt it's going to conveniently do that for me. Come on, dudes. Yeah, you keep moving. You come back over here. Let's they still aren't close enough to each other, I don't think. Don't go back over here, man. That doesn't help me. Alright, well, now they're going to get close enough for sure. Double takedown. There we go. Zeke's got 358 credits, pistol ammo. Other bodyguards also got machine pistol ammo. <coughs> Now, we should be able to get out of here. Got my 125 experience, that's what I was after. So, we can't really put it off anymore. Time to go to Derelict Row. Let's move through here. And let's let's take the maintenance entrance over here at least first. Cuz that is where O'Malley's package is, which we still need to pick up. There's the crossbow. Retrieve O'Malley's package, 100 XP. And since we haven't seen one yet, we'll go ahead and show you the crossbow. It does go into my main inventory. Or, no, I didn't want to equip it. Let's examine it, though. Crossbow, Hawkeye Expo XH2. Use completely silent, long-range lethal weapon. Warning, arrows follow an arc when fired. They do not travel in a straight line. <coughs> Use the scope's adaptable sight to line up your shot before firing. Description, the crossbow has been around in one form or another for centuries thanks to the simplicity and effectiveness of its basic design. With few moving parts, the weapon can operate in near silence and in almost any conditions. The Hawkeye XH2 version is a lightweight, single-shot crossbow with a built-in optical sight. This improves the weapon's accuracy, but reload time is slow as each bolt must be hand-loaded. Upgrades The Hawkeye XH2 does support some standard upgrade packages. It can also make use of a special package called the Lead Fire Targeting Suite. This upgrade relies on scope-leading software to predict a target's movements, improving the accuracy of shots. Manufacturer Stasiuk Arms Incorporated. Rate of fire 1 out of 10. Reload speed 2 out of 10 can be upgraded to 5. Damage output 8 out of 10 can be upgraded to 10. And ammo capacity 1 out of 10. Anyway, before I go any farther... I'm not sure if Jenny takes it from me or not, but I'd like her to, so let's see if she'll take it. 
If not, I'll just drop it now that the objective's complete, but... Come on, Jensen, make this quick. We shouldn't be seen together before you're done with everything. If this O'Malley guy is such a big mastermind, won't he do a background check on me or have me followed? Of course. But lucky for us, the guy in charge of this spy games business is our mole. Don't worry, Jensen. You're covered. Okay. That's all for now. Well, I guess we'll hold on to the crossbow then. So there are a total of 35 hostile gangsters back here. And I intend to get 17 double takedowns. I can't take this entrance. Unless I feel like shooting it with a peps, which would be overkill, to put it mildly. I don't want to use any either of my last two shots moving those crates anyway, so we will take this entrance to DRB territory instead. to keep my pistol as my 100 experience exploration bonus which is fine and dandy there's plenty to explore in derelict row but I just need to get over to that fire escape to start out I want to clear out all the dudes down on the ground level. Don't come no closer, Slick. Back on. It's too late to run. I said turn around and leave. Last chance. That's the plan, Hoss. We got the high ground now, bro. Thanks to the beef, the bangers don't got half the artillery we do. Good to know. So tell me. Chosen a weapon and victim for the last stage of your initiation? Yeah. I'm gonna muck one of the hobos under the overpass with a longsword. Sniper action. Very nice. Oh. Keep out of this. Oh. Oh. Double takedown on those two. Very good. 33 guys left to drop. This one's got 172 credits in machine pistol ammo. This one's got 22 credits. Yahoo! The nice thing, of course, about doing cloak and daggers and this at the same time, and the main mission at the same time, is uh, Jenny's secondary objective will fail. And that will alert me if I do anything to compromise my ghost bonus. So that's really nice. Anyway. Oof. Oh. Wait for my energy cell to recharge completely. And quick save. Now I should be able to sneak up on some of these guys who were... So mad at me for being here earlier. Turn around, Hawk. This doesn't concern you like to pull him over to this guy and hopefully do a double takedown without alerting his buddy. I s Very 
good. So we got 101 credits and a pocket secretary on this one. Storage stash from masterp9 at yazura.det.usa to crackface at scowlingmask.net. Hey, man, they added some new hardware to the little stash of guns and ammo we got in the storage locker. The code's 0187. Help yourself to something nice to wet some of them MCB bitches. Crackface. Oh, and this is the pocket secretary Zeke gave me, which I never read. Sit rep from silver at bt.s.net to chinaboy at yazura.det.usa. Alpha team and blue are Oscar Mike. We've posted packs of blue legs to cover your six. Extract and secure data. Rendezvous at designated LZ for extraction. Reconvene at the facility. Intel shows they've popped smoke on you. Be careful. Facility door code, dedicated terminals, all access, 7984. All access, sec hub, login, password, spaxor slash neural hub. Interesting. I gotta get these guys out of here without alerting any of the four who are left standing out here. That's two double takedowns. I've got Twelve more to set up and execute. Okay, let's drop that body right there. Pistol ammo, nothing too special. Drag him all the way down here, just cause. Okay, good, I did already search that one. Alright! So far, so good. Now... There are four guys left in here. Okay. Thought I could use the uh, the lead time he was giving me to pull him over to his buddy, but no such luck. I'm going to have to be more refined in arranging my next takedown. Oh, he's coming right to me. Don't push it, asshole. I ain't telling you again. Dang it. I need to get out of sight and get him to walk over to the other guy. Hmm. 
how to go about this. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. So we got two over here. I need to pull these two together somehow. Don't get involved in this asshole. Get out of here. Keep out of this answer. Get lost. Don't hide on me, Ark. Don't get involved in this asshole. Get out of here. Where you at? Don't get involved in this asshole. Get out of here. You hiding? Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. Keep running, asshole. Come on. Let's see if he's got the ball to come back here. Involved in this asshole. Get out of here. I ain't gonna tell you again. Back off. Try to get. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Looks like I might need to throw something or use a gunshot. One of those tactics. Let's see if I can. Let's start by seeing if I can find something to throw. Because that's usually pretty easy. Ugh. Or maybe I'll use a gunshot. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. Shit, where is he? I'll be waiting right here, Peckerwood. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. Don't get involved in this asshole. Get out of here. You hiding? I ain't gonna tell you again. Back off. Where you at? Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. Shit, where is he? Don't push it, asshole. I ain't telling you again. Keep running, asshole. There <clears throat> has to be a way to do this. There always is. It's just, I don't know. Your inventory is full and cannot contain the selected item. Of course. Let's try again. Well, that's my peps. I don't want to waste that. We have a good old-fashioned shotgun blast. And draw them to me. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. Don't hide on me, Ark. I'll be waiting right here, Peckerwood. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. Don't hide on me, Ark. Keep out of this, Hanser. Get lost. 
Keep out of this hands or get lost. Shit, where is he? Well heck, I might get this to work after all. That sure was cleaner. Alright, let's get these two. Got 58 credits on this one. I don't need to drag them all the way to their buddies. Because this sort of entrance zone is about cleaned out now. We got two more. Oh shit. They saw their buddy. Hmm. Don't push it, asshole. I ain't telling you again. Okay, I gotta Well the takedown worked, but I gotta get the bodies somewhat hidden faster than that. Come on over. That's good. Don't push it, asshole. I do love Jensen's double takedowns. Man, oh man. Let's just start by getting him around this corner. Maybe that's good enough. Yeah, I remain uninterested in keeping a shotgun. I'd rather holster my peps. Alright, 58 credits on that one. Five pistol bullets on that one. Nothing too special in either case, but... Alright, three double takedowns. 17 minus 3 is 14. 14 to go. I think I quoted some stupid numbers earlier. Be right back, folks.